right. So now we're going to SSH into our EC2 instance using our Linux or a Mac computer. And you may say, what the hell is SSH? What are you talking about, Stefan? Well, SSH is one of the most important function when you deal with Amazon Cloud. It basically allows you to control a remote machine or server all using your terminal or your command line. So how does that look like with a diagram? Well, we have our EC2 machine and we launched Amazon Linux 2 on it and our machine has a public IP. Now we want to access that machine. And so for this, I don't know if you remember, but we have a security group and on it, we allowed the port 22 of SSH. So what's going to happen is that our computer, so my laptop for you, for me or whatever for you, then will access over the web through that port 22, it will access the EC2 machine. And basically our command line interface is going to be just as if we were inside that machine. So let's get started. Okay, so I am in my instance console. And as we can see on the bottom right, we have a public DNS and a public IP. So this is basically how I can connect from my computer over the web to this instance. And this is why we have a public IP. So 35, 180, 100, 144. So we have to go ahead and copy this and we'll use it, okay? The other thing that's super important is that if we look at our security group and click on view and bound rules, we should be seeing that port 22 is open on the protocol TCP and the source is 0.0.0 slash .0, .0, 0, which means anyone, okay? So let's go ahead and SSH into our instance. For this, you need to open a terminal, so use whatever you have on Mac or Windows. I used, uh, for Mac, I use iTerm if you're, if you're a bit interested. And so what we have to do is SSH into our machine. Now we do SSH EC2 user at and the IP. EC2 user is basically the Linux user into our Amazon Linux machine and at basically defines the IP. Now, does that sound right? We click on OK and it says, OK, do you want to continue? That sounds fine. Say yes. And then it says, wait, permission denied. So it seems like we can't really SSH into our machine. Well, that makes sense, right? We just launched a machine right here and it's using a public IP and the port 22 is open, but we don't want anyone to get into that machine, right? We just want ourselves to get into that machine. And so this is why we had downloaded a key file, okay? The ec tutorialpem file. And so we are going to have to use that key to get into our machine. So what I did is that I took that key and I placed it into my directory called AWS course, but you can place it anywhere you want. Now we basically have to say, okay, I want to get into this machine. So I want to run this SSH command, but I also want to reference my key so that I can tell the machine that, hey, here is my key, which allows me to get into the machine. So to use a key, you do minus I, and then you reference the PEM file. So SSH minus I, ec tutorialpem and then the instance uh, uh, username at the instance IP. Click on enter. And now we get another warning. It says warning, unprotected private key file. And so that's a very common exam question, which says that when you first download a file, the permission is something called 0644, and that's too open. And basically the private key can leak. Okay, so basically because the private key is accessible by other, it will say bad permissions and it will not allow you to SSH into that machine. So to fix this, very common question, you do chmod 0400 and then you reference the key name. So just like this. And now if we run again this command, ta-da, we are in the machine. So we get Amazon Linux 2 AMI and we are in the machine. Now if I go and clear the screen and type who am I, I can see that I am EC2 user. Okay, so you can do a lot of things. You can go ahead and, and ping google.com if you wanted to. And as you can see, it works. Google.com is talking to us. So this sounds about right. So this is how I SSH into the machine. Now I'm basically into my EC2 server and I can run commands from here. And as you can see in this course, we'll run lots of commands from our EC2 machine. But it's super important for you to know. Now to exit, you can just press exit or you do a control D to log out. And then you see the connection is closed and I am back to my directory, okay? So these commands are gonna have to run them very often. Again, remember SSH minus I, the name of the key file, and then the username, and then the IP. So that sounds right. You just learned how to SSH. I will see you in the next lecture.